Welcome to our channel. We are Wendy and Emil. We are a couple that lives in the UK and have recently bought a long wheelbase Mercedes Sprinter van, which we are now converting into a small home for us and our pets, Milo and Buddy. Our dream is to travel and go on new adventures together. This video is one of our van conversion videos. Welcome back everyone. So today we're going to put, we're going to install a reversing camera on the back. So I've got to take the old one out and, and put this one in and, and wire it up. And additionally to that, because this is an older van, they don't, it doesn't have like the the screen. Uh, so we'll we're gonna put in this um, infotainment system, and the reversing camera will will come on here. So the old one, you want coming? The old one will come out, and the new one will. Sit, uh, sit right there. So, yeah. Um, we got it from a company called Car Multimedia System. Um, it comes with uh, all the connections for Sprinter vans or Volkswagen um, vans. So, yeah, it's really simple. Should be simple. But, yeah, let's, let's get to it. Well, first things first. First, we need to clean up in the front. So while we've been doing the back, we kind of just been using the front to store a lot of cleaning products and tools and stuff. So we need to move that out and back to give us the space to work with. All right, now it's nice and tidy in the front and really messy in the back. Um, right, so we need to take this panel off. Um, I think it's hold on. But with some clips, so I got this uh, this plastic uh, thing. Um, not too sure where to start, but let's start here. Right, so be careful with the. It's got a hazard light in there, so it's uh, it's wired then. So don't don't pull it too much. Let's see your damages. Um, okay. Next, we need to undo these bolts. It's screwed on by four bolts, I think. Yeah, looks like four bolts. Um, so these are the aerials, so I'm just removing all the all the wires for now. Um, really stuck in there. Okay, so the main fuse is out, the two aerials, and uh, yeah, here it is out. Um, let's take the, the the new one out and uh, we need to connect it um, the new one's got different type of connections but luckily it comes with um, these two so let's see which one is for our for, for my one is it so, like converters yeah so so for this one it's it's this this converter so it will slot just in there and these will go into the new unit so let's put that in there we go that's it so now it's in there we just need to connect this up so this black one goes in here so the the good thing about the old system and new one they are pretty much the same the, the old one takes 10 amp fuses and the new one does exactly the same so it's literally just click and play So 
So while Emil is installing the infotainment system, I'm going to uh, start doing the reverse camera. So the, I'm at the back of the van right now, and there is a light off there, and I'm gonna unscrew it. Um, so yeah, that will be the first step, because that's where the reverse camera is going to sit. So I'm pretty annoyed with myself right now, because I it's quite windy outside, and I put my camera on the tripod to film, obviously to film me taking out the um, the light, as I mentioned, but then the wind knocked over my camera. And at first, like the first thing I checked was just the outside, how does it look? And I just had a few scratches, so it didn't look too bad. The lens wasn't broken, at least not the glass, like well, from what I can see, but the camera is completely dead. So I can't turn it on and off. So the lens, it's, it's a cam Canon uh, G7 X Mark uh, II. So it's one of those where you can't, it's like a compact camera. It's one of those where you can't uh, change the lens. So if the lens break, um, the whole camera is broken. So not quite sure what I am going to do, if it's worth getting a new one or getting it fixed. Um, but yeah, I need to look into that, but not exactly the expenses uh, I was planning um, to have. <laughs> But what annoys me the most about it is that I was looking at the camera thinking it's actually quite windy, should it be standing on that tripod? Um, and didn't do anything about it, um, just thinking it wasn't going to fall over, but then, you know, it did. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. We're just going to keep filming uh, with other camera, but uh, yeah, going to need to see if we can get that replaced. I think where this light is, there's probably a double-sided tape. So it's really sticky, I'm just trying to... Trying to get it out, trying to push it out. So, so let's come. Because I'm not tall enough, I put a little, little <laughs> pad here. Now I'm the right height. Now I'm the right height. <laughs> So I've connected everything up. And let me just quickly walk through what we what we have here. Um, <clears throat> so on this side, you saw I connected the the transition cable from the the Sprinter's original into this um, uh, smart media. It's like Android Play. So it uh, it's got this power cable. So this the power is is a lot smaller and goes in here. Then on the same thing. We have this a uh, canvas uh, bar, so basically it decodes the radio. Otherwise, without this, the, the radio is not going to work. Uh, but it, it all comes in a pack. Um, so you connect to the same power cable the, the canvas, like so. And then from this, it has a two cable that that just connects here in the in the first slot. So that goes in there. And uh, this essentially will, will, will power the radio. Then we had a uh, the, um, the antenna for, for to pick up radio signals. And then we have a converter here. And then that, that just slots into the, the, the stereo here. Then next up is, um, is this little one here. So this is for our reverse camera. Um, so now we have to run the wire all the way along. And this is where the reverse camera signal will come into, and that's how it connects to the to the radio itself. Um, then what's next? Next to it, next to this little thing here, this is a uh, GPS signal. So GPS just screws onto here, and then later on I'm going to run it through, and I'm going to put it here to the on the window, something like that. So that's going to be our GPS and, and navigation, so we can use. Um, navigation in areas we, where we have no signal, and this will just ping to the um, to the satellites and get get our, our location. So in case we don't have any uh, signal on, on our mobile phones, uh, we can still navigate without using that. So that's great. Um, then all of this here, this is for your 
stereo system. So if you have a sound, sound bar or sound uh, woofer or extra speakers, uh, you can connect that to here. But all I need is all of that. I just need one cable. And this is your, your microphone. So when you have Bluetooth connected, um, you can make phone calls and this is the microphone receiver. So I'm going to run this again all the way around and I'm going to prob probably come out here or, s or some, somewhere like this and, and put this uh, so, so when I drive it can pick up my voice uh, quite easily. Um, and that's all the, that's all the connections uh, really. So now I'm going to pop this in. All these cables can go inside. So that's going to sit there like this. Um, now we just need uh, car keys. Turn the ignition on. And uh, the, the radio is coming on. Um, it's, it's Android uh, radio. And it's all touch screen with some uh, key buttons, uh, which is great. Also, if you don't, if you don't buy the external radio, um, microphone, um, here is an inbuilt microphone. Um, it's not as good quality, but it will still work. Um, but yeah, we got some external microphone. So yeah, this is a main menu. So you can connect with your Bluetooth. Uh, you can play some uh, music if you got the the stereo system. Um, there's just the radio. So let's go to that first. Um, Sir Christopher Chope is speaking out against Scotland Yard's call for the so, yeah. civil servant Sue Gray to make just a minimal reading. reference to the and it's all touch screen. It's ended Australia's 44-year wait for a home winner um, in the women's tennis singles. And uh, there's also the, the navigation. The MP has accused the Metropolitan Police of abusing its powers. It's just lo loading up. For the first time, it's going to load up, but uh, once you once you start using it, you want you want need to load it load it up. It will be pre 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 installed. Um, okay. So yeah. So here we are. Right, next thing is to wire up the reversing camera, so let's do that. Uh, so the radio is in, I need to run this wire from the radio all the way along to the back of the car, to the back of the van. But I'm going to run inside this, well, not inside, I'm going to take off this uh, sort of wiring protection. I already started removing here, so it just exposes all those, so um, yeah, let me do that and then we can wire this. So that's all off, now I can run the wire. So we've taken more pieces uh, off of the dashboard and I've really been dreading doing that because I just knew it was going to be so disgusting underneath and it is. So my job right now is taking all the pieces that Emil has taken off and yeah, just giving it a really good scrub to get all that, it's kind of like a really greasy dirt that's on there so I just need to get that like all washed off. Um, so when you remove the old uh, reverse the light you'll have to clean all, all of this off so there was like a double sided tape that comes in a pack and so the new one will, will come on top there um, so I use some white spirit and a bit of some baby wipes so make sure you remove all the, all the, all the glue so now let's put on the new one and then let's attach the new light but first before we attach the new one You'll have to take the light strip out and put it onto the new housing. So let's do that. So there's the there's the LED light strip. So I need to pop it out and pop it into the new one, um, and then connect it up and put it in the car. 
Alright, let's do it. Um, so as you can see the LED strip is in, there's a right faff to get it in there because of this wire. So what I had to do is I drilled a pilot hole and just missed the light bar, the LED strip. And uh, let's, let's try to test fit it and see if it works, see if, see if it fits even. Um, I'm going to take this double sided tape, put it on first, on the car first, and take a little bit of Sikaflex and just work around it to make sure there's no water coming in. Let me stick this on. Um, just put the double sided tape on. I'm going to put a little bit of Sikaflex to for extra uh, protection, um, just a small bead, and then I'll stick the light on. Right, so it's it's in now. Need to connect it up and see if it works. But as I said, we're missing the the power cable. But uh, I've got some cable, so maybe I'll I'll cut it off and run it to the reversing light and connect it there. Right, I'm pretty tired. I'm hungry. Time for lunch. And then we'll come back and try to do this later. All the pieces that we already had taken out, um, we have already, yeah, we've cleaned them outside. Uh, but now I am with so wet wipes and some uh, some multi-purpose uh, spray and some tissue paper. I am cleaning as much as possible here. Um, but yeah, uh, this is really disgusting, like really really dirty. Um, but yeah, just gonna get as much as I possibly can. This wasn't really a task that we had planned to do this weekend, but since everything is out, this is kind of a good time to do it. So I'm sitting here attempting to try and fix my camera. I was hoping if I can open it up, maybe I can see what happened to the lens and potentially uh, change the lens. So I checked and like the price for a new one and it would be so much cheaper, obviously, than getting a new camera. But my attempt so far, it looks like I might lose the battle against this tiny little screw. I've gotten three other screws out, but this one just does not want to come out. But yeah, I'm not ready to give up yet, um, considering like, it's, you know, it's about uh, 550 or something like that for a new camera, or it's about 80 pounds for a lens, so not quite ready to give up on saving that amount of money yet. Not for one screw at least. <laughs> Day. It's a bit of an odd day because I'm waiting for some more cables to come through for the reversing camera. So instead of doing nothing, I'm gonna do some odd jobs like there's a bit of rust um, on the roof, so I'm gonna uh, prevent and treat that. Then we're gonna do some more cleaning in the cab, maybe disassemble some new parts, uh, new new bits. 
Um, I think we can also do the the roof sound deadening. Uh, we'll we'll put the 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 stuff up on the roofs, and then probably measure out where the fan is going to go. Yeah, some some odd jobs today, but it needs to be done. So, but. The weather is so much better today, isn't it? We didn't do the sound testing uh, in our previous, in the, in the sound deadening video, um, but I also need to finish off the roof. So, and we, I have a lot of these left over, so I'm going to do a more thorough job and stick them in the gaps where where I think it needs to be more to reduce the sound, the, the vibrations even further. But, uh, listen to this. Did you hear that? Before it was uh, very tinny, like vibrated. Uh, maybe on the roof I can show you. Well, in the roof you've got these ridges, so it doesn't really vibrate. Because right now, as you know, it sounds very tinny. And it's all thanks to this material, it's, it's fantastic. So when you close the doors, like dunk everything and, and it also absorbs the outside noise. So let me, uh, let me put more of this stuff on. Um, so I removed the headliner, it was quite simple, it was just uh, two bolts here, two bolts here, and then a bunch of clips, and it came off, and the same, same two bolts and two bolts. Um, I removed it because, firstly, we want to build a shelf here, eventually, and secondly, I want to do some extra sound deadening. Um, this, is, this will be the last part of sound deadening, uh, so I'm going to put that here, there, and just, just fill it out. Um, also, while I've got everything exposed, like all the wires, I can, I can wire the, the reversing camera nicely and also I can wire the microphone for the new unit. So I'm going to put the microphone here and uh, I think we might purchase a Mercedes liner for a, for a, a height one, so it will just end here uh, rather than having this, this built bulkhead. And then that will look kind of professional and nicely and we can tie everything together and just build a shelf from there. So that's the plan. Let's let's get to it. Alright, so we finished up for today. That's everything we could could do. Um, so Emil has uh, yeah done some more sound editing and uh, and yeah he's waiting on that cable to be able to finish up the reverse camera. Um, I've done a whole lot of cleaning around here. So I literally <laughs> I bought these uh, cheap toothbrushes because I needed to go into tinier spaces. And all the pieces that we've taken off, they are all drying uh, in the garden. Can you hear that plane? But yeah, I thought now that everything was off, I wanted to do as much as I could. Um, so yeah, um, that's what we're doing. Uh, it was really disgusting in here. But yeah, just to <laughs> update about my camera. Unfortunately, so far, I'm still being defeated by that one screw. I'm not giving up yet, um, but we have uh, ordered a uh, another camera. We did think that it was good to have um, an another camera, um, you know, should something happen. And uh, so yeah. We, we're going to have a second camera, um, a GoPro actually, um, we thought that was something um, that we would be using even if the other camera gets fixed. But yeah, we'll come back once we have the wire um, so we can finish off the, um, the reverse camera. I've got the earth now, so I need to, so for reversing camera, here's the earth cable from the power and the red one is the power cable. Um, I need to, so for the, for the sprinter van, the earth cable is just there. So I need to cut it to length and then strip back and put a little, little thing. 
Alright, I need to sh heat shrink the cable. Did that do what I wanted to do? I don't want to burn the cable. <laughs> feed is being connected for the reversing camera so you saw me put on the earth and also for the power I spliced it onto a reversing light uh, power cable so when the reversing light comes on the camera uh, also powers up so a little splice here um, if you're interested for sprinter, sprinter lens is the white cable with a tiny little blue line going through that's the reversing camera uh, reversing lights uh, power uh, cable so you can splice from that to, onto the reversing camera so let me get some zip ties and, and tidy up make it neat and then we'll go to the front and um, and test it little yeah I already tested it it's, it's working but uh, we'll, we'll get there and I'll show you to you Um, so let's test the reversing camera. So the um, the rate the infotainment system is on. So if I once I put it into reverse like this, the camera comes on there. And you can see it's got the indication of lines, how how close you get. And yeah, it just works as as soon as you put it in reverse, it comes on. Take it out of the reverse, it goes off. So just an update on the camera. I actually did manage to take it apart. Um, now I'm just waiting until I can find a like the replacement or so a new um, so a new lens. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to buy a new lens uh, just from new. Uh, the only ones I've found are from outside of Europe and I know I'm going to be paying some import tax if I do that. And uh, yeah, so I'm kind of hoping that at some point someone's going to try and sell a uh, used camera. Uh, maybe a faulty one that is in a good price but the lens isn't broken and I can use that lens. But yeah, so I'm just going to uh, wait until a good one comes uh, available and until then, so the new uh, camera, so our GoPro has arrived and if you watch our video in the next week you can actually see there's a really good uh, idea that we got the, the GoPro camera because uh, it's a lot more solid and it's a lot better when uh, you're doing things like climbing on top of the van. So that we've got uh, everything wired up for the for the infotainment system. Um, we need to just reassemble the entire dashboard. So let's put everything back together. like reassembling the Lego without user manual because you didn't take the notes how it came apart in the first place. Right, so the the front has been reassembled. Uh, we didn't put down put this piece back that normally sits here. It's because we will try to make this into a Milo's bed. So 
I'll cat Milo can sit here while we drive and uh, look out the window. So this will, we'll try to make this into a Milo's bed. So now I've got a um, few more connections to make, like the uh, this is the radar for the sat nav, and I also up here have a microphone for the hands free. But uh, those things I'm going to wire later when we go tackle the roof, um, because. Um, all those wires I'm going to nicely, well, nicely make and also make these side trims. But uh, that will wait uh, for for some time until when until we start doing the insulation. Um, okay, stay tuned for our next video and uh, you'll see what we get up then. All right, see you then.